Make sure you are putting on that bug spray. Chicago's Department of Public Health says the city's risk for West Nile virus is high. Joining us now is Rush Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Shivanjali Shankuran. Thank you, doctor, so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So to Don's point, the risk is high. What exactly does that mean for the average person? So this is a virus that's spread by mosquito bites. And so um, whenever you have the potential for a mosquito bite, um, there's a potential trans for transmission of the uh, virus. However, the majority of people who do get the virus tend to be asymptomatic. And only about 20 to 40 percent of people will have any symptoms related to the infection. That's what I was going to ask you. How do people know if they have West Nile? I mean, we all get mosquito bites. So what do we do if we think we might have something? What should we look for? So the 20 to 40 percent of people who do get symptoms, it tends to be quite um, nonspecific. So fevers, body pain, upper respiratory symptoms, and it can be very hard to even know you have West Nile. But those people tend to not be very sick and may not require care. Hmm. Less than 1 percent of people can get what we call neuroinvasive West Nile, which means it can cause an infection of the brain or the spinal cord. Those people can get confused, um, bad headaches, not be able to think straight. Um, weakness in the arms and legs, and so those are obviously um, concerning symptoms that should make you reach out to your provider or go to the ER as soon as you can. Doctor, you can check my numbers here, but my understanding is last year was big for West Nile, 34 cases, 8 deaths. Why is that number so much lower this year? Is it because we've had a predominantly dry summer? It might be that, and it's just um, discontinued until the end of summer, so numbers might come through. Also. If some people have symptoms that are very mild, they may not come in to get tested. And so it's hard to sort of keep a good track of all the numbers. But, um, but yeah, it could be um, there's not as much standing water, which is what mosquitoes use to reproduce. And uh, because of that, there's less transmission. So how does someone get tested just to make sure they don't have it or they do? Do they just go to the local urgent care, the ER? What do you recommend? So um, you get tested only if you have symptoms because um, antibodies can persist for a while. Um, the test is only either via a blood test, which looks for antibodies in response. Um, and if you have a central nervous system infection, then they check, do a spinal tap and check for the antibodies there. And so probably don't require testing if you have just very mild symptoms. Um, but when you, if you have severe symptoms um, or if you have neuroinvasive, then it's a blood test or a spinal tap test or a combination of both. Mm. All, right. All right. Doctor, thank you so much. Uh, important information today. Appreciate it. Thank you.